Alright, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be talking about Star Trek Online and how to assign... Jesus, look at him go. Order of the Iron Wolves. Yeah, driving on like he stole it. Bleeding hell. Right, um, so yeah, going to be talking about how to assign your bridge crew, how to assign their abilities, and how to use their abilities. Um, I'm parked inside DS9. There it is. Gorgeous. This is the USS Riker. It's my ship. It's a Luna class vessel. A uh, Luna class vessel like uh, the USS Titan, Captain Riker's ship, after he buggered off at the end of Nemesis. Um, ah, Jesus, would you look at that dirty big hole in space? Uh, in true to form, I will probably fly the Riker straight into that hole once I'm finished this video. Um, so, just to go on about the actual bridge crew, you have your abilities down in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, L1 is assigned to items and ship abilities. So, for example, this is a reconnaissance, a long range reconnaissance science vessel. So, I have uh, a sensor analysis and full input ability available to me, but I also have the engine battery and weapons battery if you have them assigned and data recorder where I can listen to Leonard Nimoy's gravelly voice whenever I want to. You also have any abilities you might have picked up and you have them assigned to your ship uh, in the ability slot. So in the story missions you pick up Nimbus and the Nimbus Pirate Distress Call and if you've done the Vault story mission you pick up a Launch Scorpion for the Launch Scorpion Fighters after that mission as well. I think I think it's after that mission anyway. So these are assigned to my slot. So what it is is if I hold down L1 it brings up the radial menu so I can assign any of those abilities to L1. So say if I want to have the full inputs assigned, if I press down on the L stick, it assigns it to that. So I just press L1 and it gives me full abilities, full impulse. Um, no, I don't want to go to the S9 because it's a shit box. Um, and then if I want to go to L2, hold on L2 and it gives it the radio menu of all the captain abilities for the ship. So I currently have it set to attack pattern alpha. So if I press L2, attack pattern alpha engages. If I hold down L2, it gives it the radio menu of all the abilities. Now the thing about it is with abilities, and this is across all bridge officers from your captain onwards, you can set them to auto execute by pressing R1. So toggle auto execute by pressing R1. So for example, I have brace for impact is set to auto execute when your average shield strength is less than 25%. I can set that to 50% to manual, so I basically go into the radio menu and activate it myself, so I just press R2 and it activates, or I can set it, press R1 again, and it's basically when any of your shields go down. If your shields go down, it basically goes brace for impact. And what that does is it gives you uh, plus three to 40 hit points over 15 seconds, so on and so forth. So I can then set it like, so I think I had it originally set to 24%, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, evasive maneuvers again you can set that to auto execute the whole the way through depending on what it is uh, so I think I'll, I'll set it yeah to that uh, tactical initiative you cannot set to auto execute because what that is is it basically gives you a buff uh, on your tactical bridge officers by 0.45% for 45 seconds their abilities kind of recharge faster so you can't actually that doesn't kick in automatically you have to go in and manually do that so Again, you can change what you have set by pressing down on the L stick. I'm going to put it back to attack pattern alpha. And this is across the board and all your abilities. Uh, radio menu availability just by holding down the button. So for square, which is the science officer, I can go in and see all my science officer abilities that I have available. And I can reassign them when I, well, whatever way I see fit. So you have your transfer shield power or if you have tachyon beam for taking down enemy shields. This is one of my favorite abilities, actually, Gra Gravity Well. So I have Gravity Well 1, Gravity Well 2, and the reason why I have two of them is I have two science officers, and each of them have a different variation of the ability available. So what that does is, a Gravity Well it shoots off into space at your enemy, if, say if there's a, a fleet of vehicles, of, of vessels, you shoot it off into the vessels, and they all get sucked into it. So if you take out, say for example, a Romulan, uh, a Romulan Warbird and its Singularity Drive blows up and they're all sucked in, you could take out three or four ships all in one go. It's a very, very handy tool to have. Um, engineering, I've got two engineering abilities because I've only got one engineer on a science vessel. And then tactical, you've got three because of the way it's set up. So just to show you the actual abilities where they're set, if you go into your options menu and then go to skills, and then go to screw, uh, crew, screw stations, Jesus, it is the Riker, um, crew stations, and then in star starship space uh, stations in space in space uh, you have your first my first officer eliza flores i think she's pretty much everyone's first officer and on a, this particular class of vessel which is a science vessel the science stations 
have higher ability slots than any other station. So you have two tactical stations. The first tactical station where I have Flores is uh, the two stations are set to Ensign and Lieutenant. Then Charak, my uh, Klingon uh, bridge officer, is just at Ensign level. Uh, my engineer has up to Lieutenant level. But then Saldek, my main science officer, has up to Commander level uh, for her abilities. And then uh, Jezik has up to Lieutenant Commander level. Uh, level. So if I look at the individual abilities of uh, Eliza Flores, she's only got two, so it's Ensign and Lieutenant level. If I go into the Ensign level, it's all tier one abilities. I have either to Torpedo High Yield and Torpedo Spread. So this all just depends on what way I have it set as being available in this menu here. So if I hold down Circle, I still have the three abilities available to me. It just depends on what I want available to me at the touch of a button. So if I press Circle, if I press circle, then I have Torpedo High Yield 2 is available to me at touch of a button. But if I want to auto-assign them, or assign them to, to the circle button, I just go into the radio menu by holding down circle, and then assign them separately, so I have different powers. So, just to be aware of that. So, uh, if we go back to the crew stations and go into the individual powers, you can see that there are a lot of powers here that aren't, aren't actually trained up on. Uh, I will do another video showing you how to train up the powers. But at the moment, uh, Flores has three powers available to her. Torpedo high, uh, Spread 1, and Torpedo High Yield 1, and then Beam Array Fire at Will 1. That's at the Ensign level. Uh, the next level then will be the Lieutenant level, and in there I have Torpedo High Yield 2, and Beam Array Overload 2. And I think that's all I've trained her up on in that. Yes, there's loads available. There's so many different power-ups available, and whatever way you <coughs> assign them within the video sorry within the video jesus within the actual uh, setup is the way you do it yourself it's all down to yourself same with this so in science again all these different abilities all these different power-ups all are available at different levels there's so many of them and you train up your officers as you see fit depending on your style of play Again, it depends on your ship as well. So, like I said, this is a science vessel. If you want to go with an escort vessel, which is all about blowing shit up, like the Defiant, I think the Defiant has got three tactical or two tactical, two engineering and one science uh, cruiser uh, class will be the same. Uh, they would have like two engineering, two tactical, one science. So it depends on the class of vessel, depending on what's available to you. I prefer the science vessels. Uh, I think they're sturdy enough and the spread of the abilities suits me as a gamer the way I play but you might like to blow shit up more you like to destroy their shields and then take them out slowly so it really is up to yourself so that is the video on how to set up your bridge crew uh, the next video will be how to actually train your bridge crew and train your abilities uh, as you go through the game thanks for watching